Hi, welcome to a new episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you my way of insulating, not insulating, the correct word would be uh, putting up a wafer and uh, uh, moisture barrier for my walls. So, stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. So the walls are made of people uh, that's uh, uh, lightweight uh, construction material in my country. It's uh, it's using uh, concrete uh, mixed with uh, some sort of uh, clay that's been hollowed out. Uh, some technology, but it's really good building material because it's. Quite cheap, uh, lightweight, uh, sturdy. It can hold up the weather. Uh, it can be put into ground. Uh, you can build tall buildings, uh, several uh, stories high, with no problem. And uh, it has a high uh, load capability. Uh, uh, but that's for the material. So now, how I put up the barrier for this house is. Uh, uh, kind of different than usually is put up. Uh, I don't put up a sheeting or that sort of thing. The first part is that I wet the walls uh, with common water because it's really hot outside at the moment and the concrete will cure too fast and it won't stick to the wall. Next, uh, I'm going to apply uh, basic uh, concrete. Here is a bit done. Uh, this is done because uh, I still have holes uh, that are uh, could be uh, leaking uh, air uh, after the building is complete. So the first layer is that I put up water, then I put up concrete to fill the caps. Uh, after that, it's going to cure. If it's totally cured, I am going to apply. Uh, a mixture of uh, roof bitumen uh, that is uh, uh, mixed with uh, uh, some kind of rubber compound. Uh, this will give me a long lifespan. And if I put uh, uh, some holes here, will uh, melt the holes together so there won't be any uh, air leakage. Uh, why I'm starting up here, not from the ground up, is because in the beginning uh, here is my uh, moisture barrier for the walls and this is below the floor. So this uh, lowest point that I need to go. Uh, I will go a little bit lower and uh, starting up. Uh, this will uh, be done over the whole house. So this will give me a uh, full uh, uh, air and uh, water barrier for the house. After that, uh, I will put here insulation. And uh, on top of that will be in the later stage uh, the outside uh, uh, protection from rain and uh, sun and just the outer layer. So now let's head in and I'll show you what I'm doing. Rubber and nitro 
acid or some kind of to make it a little bit uh, uh, more flexible for me to apply it. So let's head in and I'll show you every part of the way. So, one question you may ask is uh, why I don't uh, do it to the bottom? Because here is my bottom layer that's also done with. Uh, so when the uh, water rises, uh, the wall crawls up, this is the barrier. So the bottom part here is here and at the moment I'm doing right here so I can put down the insulation foam. That's why. You'll have the, you'll ask the answer. Question. Now I'm going to install the foam boards and you may ask uh, what happens if I pour holes into this one, uh, material. As it's a rubbery compound uh, it will auto seal those holes and the rubber also gives uh, it a benefit that if it's winter it's going to harden and it, when it's summer it's going to soften and uh, uh, seal micro holes even if uh, uh, the wall cracks uh, I hope it doesn't but even if, if it cracks it will seal the uh, hole in the wall uh, <coughs> it's really useful but to apply it and it's a lot of work but yeah it's better than using uh, other sorts of uh, vapor and uh, uh, moisture barriers in my mind. So now let's head in and install the boards. A new tip for me, but I'll continue with the build. So in this episode, uh, no, in the same episode, I'm going to show you why I'm putting the second layer on. As the total uh, uh, thickness of this wall will be 300 uh, millimeters, then uh, I'm adding the bottom layer now. Uh, uh, this is the first step in the uh, completion of this part of the wall. Uh, I'm doing this because uh, I want to backfill this part and to do this I need to put uh, layers uh, of protection here so I don't have to use a shovel to take it all out and put it in. So now we will see how I do it.
welcome to my last part. Uh, this is an uh, insulation for protecting the phone from uh, earth. So this will be just applied this way, uh, just with a couple of holders. The holders are quite large compared to a Makita tool. So. I will show you a short vi uh, video, like the last ones, how to install it, and that's it. I can backfill it. part for the day that's a due day job for me and the last part is uh, to tape it all down uh, I don't use the full tape but it's UV and water and gold and heat resistant tape but it's cheaper and why I don't use uh, real uh, tape uh, like uh, used to insulate houses is because uh, I just want to tape it down so when I backfill, I don't get the backfill inside here. I want the backfill here. Uh, also, it's loose in some parts, and that doesn't matter because uh, when the backfill goes here, it will compress it and it will stay here. So no need to put it all perfect because uh, it just to protect this material from the earth and from bugs and everything else. Now, for taping, so I can quit for the day! Yeah! In a couple of seconds, I'll also t uh, tell, after that, I'll tell all about the layers. So, to summarize up my work, it took me around two days to complete it. Mm, I think it's quite nice. Now for the part that I was earlier talking about. How the wall, wall assembly is put together. Here's the uh, rough wall. Uh, then I added uh, cement so I can fill all the caps because every cap is a potential leakage point so I overtook the wall from the downwards uh, this will all almost 95% of the leakage will be gone with this method after that I applied uh, mm, uh, how it's called in English uh, uh, bitumen rubber compounds something like that this is applied to the cement afterwards it, it was cured 
uh, this will give me a full waterproofing and air uh, air and moisture barrier 100% uh, uh, this also the rubber compound in this helps when I put the uh, holes into it and uh, it will uh, seal those holes up next uh, I put down the boards uh, EPS boards nailed, the, nailed those down uh, then I uh, put uh, uh, foam into every uh, part I could uh, put it so they are glued to the wall uh, from all the sides and afterwards I put down the next layer uh, and glued those also down then uh, this is the part that will hold the house together this is for the insulation and uh, this is to protect the insulation from uh, rats and uh, bugs and so ah! so on uh, after I put this down I taped all the joints and used uh, foam to glue it to the wall uh, and I'm glad I did it because I already saw a big grasshopper wanted to uh, get a sleeping place for the night it's really important Oh, look, one hole is missing the uh, foam, okay. Tomorrow I will check all the per uh, perimeter uh, if there are any uh, parts that got loose and needs to be redone. And now only to backfill it and done. Why I uh, did only this part because uh, my main goal for this year is to do the roof for this house but uh, as I got a lot of uh, uh, material to work with then uh, I'm backfilling my yard and that's why I needed to do this assembly beforehand and this is why I also did only this part because uh, I want I want to do the roof and it's quite uh, costly to do the whole wall part first and then the house yesterday oh look here's also deep loose uh, also one thing that I yesterday discovered that the idea that I'm doing right now is uh, quite common not common but it's used in passive house standards and it's to make a insulation that is air and waterproof all around the house even the uh, roof and the wall assembly is uh, taped together uh, so there are no uh, uh, parts that are sticking out and uh, the builder called it uh, uh, monopoly uh, insulation uh, method and I'm quite proud that uh, it's not uh, something that isn't uh, working but it's uh, working and uh, it's used so I'm quite proud of it one extra part that I haven't shown you prior Uh, those two holes uh, are the f w uh, for the ventilation of the uh, later those are coming right down here to those two holes and this is for the air intake for the main uh, heating uh, source it's uh, it will be here and the fresh air will be into the uh, burning chamber 
and it doesn't take the uh, already hot air in the room but it takes fresh air from outside and doesn't uh, 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 doesn't uh, let's say uh, I don't know how this it's said but it doesn't mix with the indoor air so what else I can show you ah I just light oh yeah there's something fun also <laughs> this is my neighbor's tractor and uh, something fun uh, that to you whoever is looking then uh, I'm in Europe and this is a uh, original ceramite from U USA still a uh, flag here <laughs> but I don't know how old this uh, is but uh, it's uh, made in West Virginia <laughs> there's the number I don't know if this company still <laughs> is <laughs> working uh, or alive but yeah this tractor <laughs> it's working I don't know if the let's see if this is original emission control US <laughs> yeah means uh, Gansin USA yeah it's it's the original motor uh, this tractor is working uh, if anyone knows how old this one is uh, <laughs> let me know here's some sort of sticker uh, maybe it's when it was uh, brought to Europe but yeah it's working the only thing that we know is uh, changed is uh, this one but yeah, this is the assembly of my wall. Uh, in the next video, I will have a couple of uh, in a couple of parts where I'm going to put down the roof and show you how I build it. Yet again, I'm doing this alone. Uh, hopefully, the person who brings me the uh, material will uh, help with the crane and uh, pull them to the roof so it's a little bit easier for myself but for the day it's over and the cleaning part will be done tomorrow there's not much to do but yeah for the trash part for two days work I got this bucket full of and yeah this is full so, till next time and hope you have fun.